So marijuana um, is both smoked, you know, like nicotine and cigarettes, right? Um, and it's also eaten, right? It's taken through the oral administration route. Um, burning, of course, um, vaporizes the THC and other cannabinoids, um, which reach the CNS in the central nervous system in seconds. So sort of like nicotine arriving in the central nervous system, within seven seconds, the cannabinoids arrive there pretty rapidly as well. Um, oral administration, of course, delivers less THC, less, you know, fewer cannabinoids, um, more slowly, because they'll, they'll be subject, of course, to the first pass effect, and it's got to go through the stomach, and it's, you know, passage is going to be slowed by the presence of food, since you're eating it usually as a component of, you know, other, you know, of foods, right? Um, and THC and its metabolites, it turns out, persist in fat tissue. We'll talk about why. It turns out the cannabinoids actually are lipids. They're actually fat. So they persist in fat. So drug tests are effective even two weeks after um, you know, a single exposure to the drug.